Hey, Dr. Shelby here. Let's talk about centering the Zepto. When first using Zepto, everybody has a tendency to slightly decenter the capsule rexus, which can be very frustrating. And it's the most common reason that surgeons will abandon the technology early. But don't give up. Zepto is a wonderful tool to ensure a complete, well-centered, 360-degree overlapping capsule rexus. So why is that important? Well, as we all know, effective lens position is one of the most important variables in predicting refractive outcome with cataract surgery. And the most important variable for effective lens position is making sure that the anterior capsule rexus is overlapping the optic 360 degree. Now, the best way to do that is to use a femtosecond laser because you can ensure a 5 to 5.5 millimeter capsule rexus well centered every time. But what if you don't have a femtosecond laser? Well, that's where the Zepto unit comes in. The medium Zepto capsule rexus size is 5.2 millimeters which is perfect for an overlapping anterior capsule rexus. Now, if you're one of those that makes a perfect, well-centered 5 to 5.5 millimeter capsule rexus manually every time, congratulations. You can stop watching this video, go climb back on your unicorn and fly back to Narnia. But for the rest of us mere mortals, here are a few techniques that I've learned over time using Zepto to help ensure a well-centered capsule rexus every time. So when using the Zepto, you want to make sure that you inflate the anterior chamber thoroughly with viscoelastic. I'm not a huge fan of overinflation, but when using a Zepto, I like to make sure that I have enough space within the anterior chamber for the tip of the Zepto. Go ahead and make your incision like you normally do. The folded tip of the Zepto is 2.2 millimeters, so you have to use at least a 2.4 millimeter incision, which is what we use here. You then want to inspect the tip of your Zepto to make sure that the push rod is in engage with the nitinol ring. Once you're sure, move your slider forward, collapse the tip of the Zepto. With a little counter traction with your second instrument, go ahead and gently insert the tip of the Zepto through your primary wound. This is going to feel very uncomfortable initially because it's kind of a tight fit. Once you're about halfway through the wound, move your finger from the back part of the slider to the front part of the slider, but don't retract yet. Go on all the way in. Once you're in the anterior chamber, retract the push rod. Good centration is all based on push rod management. So when you retract that push rod, make sure the tip of it is about midway through the pericorneal wound. That's the sweet spot for me because it's a pivot point. It allows me to move the end of the Zepto 360 degrees. I can move it forward, backward, side to side, and make sure there's good centration. So use your second instrument to make sure you center the eye and get that Purkinje reflex right over the center of the cornea. Then I use my other hand to make sure that the Zepto is well centered. Once I'm good with where the Zepto is located, I'll go ahead and retract the push rod a little bit further. So get it beyond the wound. At this point, you can tilt up a little bit to make sure that the Zepto is flat against the anterior capsule. Once it's flat against the anterior capsule, go ahead and hit suction. We use Zepto link, so everything's controlled by my foot pedal. Once you've got suction, Zepto will take it from there. It will tell you to retract the push rod the rest of the way, which you'll do. And then after several seconds, Zepto will be complete. Once Zepto is complete, there will be a flush of BSS that will allow it to release from the anterior capsule. Most times it does it just fine. I like to wiggle the tip around a little bit. I push forward side to side just a bit just to verify that the Zepto has been released. Once it's verified, I go ahead and remove it from the eye. Sometimes there's not a really good gush of BSS. In those cases, you can do a couple things. Number one, hit the reflux button on your FACO pedal. That'll help release it, wiggle it around a little bit, make sure it's released, and go ahead and remove it from the eye. If that doesn't work, you can use your second instrument to gently get up underneath the edge of the Zepto, lift it up, free it up a bit. Once you're pretty certain you're free, do the same thing, wiggle a little bit. Once you've verified release, go ahead and remove it from the eye. So to reiterate, good centration is based on push rod management. Just like anything else, with practice, you become more comfortable with the technique. Zepto is a wonderful tool to ensure consistent overlapping capsule rexes every time.